I've been interested in, and um, engaged in the internet since the mid-1980s. Um, at one stage I owned an ISP in New Zealand, uh, an internet service provider operation, which got me interested in some of the governance aspects of the internet. Um, and from that I've, I've uh, had a number of roles in New Zealand uh, in a, on a regional basis in the Asia-Pacific region and uh, more latterly in uh, in uh, both ISOC and ICANN. In ISOC I'm a member of the Board of Trustees and in ICANN I'm the Vice Chair of the Country Code Name Supporting Organisation, the CCNSO, which looks after the CCTLD's interests in ICANN. For me, the, the, the first thing that stood out was uh, in the mid-80s seeing the file transfer protocol known as FTP uh, and as a printer at the time to see this, uh, the capability of this protocol being used to transmit uh, files between computers across uh, a network was quite remarkable. I think the last big thing that happened on the internet was the, the release of the World Wide Web in 1993 and I think since then uh, while there's been Facebooks and other things they are just applications that are using the World Wide Web so I'm not I'm, I'm not sure there's been a next big thing since 1993. A weather analogy, it's, uh, it's fine, uh, but there are clouds in the sky. The, 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 the internet continues to grow um, uh, and, and have further reach, but some of those clouds are around uh, issues uh, relating to privacy or uh, uh, protection of individuals, uh, identity theft and so on and so on. So it's not all sunny all the time. Oh, I think the, the recent moves by the US government signal, signalling their intent to take uh, their, uh, 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 or remove their hands from the IANA function uh, completes a cycle of the independence of, of the internet, uh, which should encourage further investment and further uh, entrepreneurial activities uh, on the network. I think the future, for me, the Internet of Things is definitely uh, uh, more a reality now than ever before and I look forward to the day that uh, we uh, uh, transition from uh, a lot of the more routine and boring things in lives like uh, shopping and, and so on uh, being more automated so uh, my refrigerator and my pantry being able to communicate and, and be constantly stocked on the basis of my needs um, and so on so that it frees more time to, to uh, enjoy other things in life. Uh, much as the calculator freed us from boring uh, calculations, the internet's capabilities to free us from so much routine is enormous. I look forward to that. In terms of the dangers, I think um, the constant dangers are um, uh, uh, governments looking to curtail activities on the network. Sure, there are dangerous things on the internet but, and, and the temptation for governments to, to regulate and, and to prohibit uh, access to things uh, while some things should potentially be prohibited, the fact that once you start censoring you can't stop and, and at what point does that become political censorship or, or at what point does that censorship uh, actually infringe on my individual freedoms. You know, the internet's grown uh, so rapidly and it's become so useful in spite of governments, not because of governments and uh, uh, while while it's still a technology that it's, uh, that's in its infancy, it's really, really important that we allow it to flourish to reach its full potential. And the only way we can do that is by governments having a very light-handed approach to, to the regulation on the network, knowing and understanding that there'll be disruptive behaviours and, and disruption to people's lives along the way, but we need to learn how to cope with this um, a disruptive technology and, and uh, allow it to flourish to its full potential. I, I 
think uh, the actions that are coming up with the various conferences and, and so on this year, uh, following on from the US government's uh, uh, statements on uh, its freeing up of the IANA function, will lead to a whole wave of new ways of thinking about the future of the internet, uh, whether the Internet Governance Forum might transition to more a decision-making forum or maybe uh, the, uh, people like law enforcement agencies internationally find new ways to collaborate to stop cybercrime and all of these things. I think there's a there's a whole set of new and interesting concepts that would will develop. So maybe 2014 is quite a catalyst year for uh, a, a next stage. And I think by this time next year, we'll actually see some uh, real excitement in terms of uh, roadmaps to the future of the, net, uh, of the internet. But predicting exactly where that might turn at this stage is really hard.